This is Saxon Geometry, Lesson 96. This is effects of changing the dimensions on perimeter and area. So a couple of things we have to recall here, and if you are, are noticing, I've put up here a couple of things. Side length and perimeter have a scale factor, a ratio of A to B. But if the scale factor, if I'm talking about area, it's A squared to B squared, and if I'm talking about volume, it's A cubed to B cubed. Now watch example one here. A rectangle is half as tall as it is long. If the height is reduced by half its original height, what is the ratio of the new rectangle's perimeter to the original rectangle's perimeter? Now, I don't like to work in fractions, nor do you. I understand that. So I'm going to go ahead and just say the tall side, right, is x. The long side is twice that, uh, right? It's, the, this is half as tall as it is long. The length, is, uh, uh, the, the length has got to be twice, uh, twice as much as the height. So I'm going to say x and 2x. Therefore, my perimeter, because it's a rectangle, would be x plus x plus 2x plus 2x, or 6x. They said the new perimeter, right, the, the, the new rectangle's perimeter to the original. So I want to go new to original, okay, and the new one is being reduced by half its original height. So instead of it being x, it's now one half of x, right? So one half x plus one half x plus two x plus two x gives me five x. And I remember they said, what's the, the new to the original? Well, new is five x, the original is six x. So I say x is cancel, six is to five, or Six is to five, and it's really that simple. The biggest problem I see with students dealing with these is reading and understanding what the problem is asking. It's not the mathematics. The mathematics are really simple. Look at example two here. Find the area of each polygon. Describe how each change affects the area. Triangle ABC has a base that is congruent to its height. So the base and the height are the same. If the base is dilated by a factor of two, what is the ratio of the new triangle's area to the original triangle's area? Now this one is not difficult when you stop and draw your diagram. So the very first thing I did is I wrote down what they wanted. They wanted the ratio of the new to the original areas. And I know that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Then I went ahead and drew some diagrams here to kind of understand what they were looking for. And they said that the, the uh, first one that is congruent to its height. So the base is congruent. So I said y and y, right? Height and base. Well, okay, and they said, what's the new one? Well, the new one is the base is dilated by a factor of two. So instead of being y, it's now two y's. So I drew that one. And I said, uh, okay, what is the, the area of the original? It's one half of base times height, one half y, y, which is one half y squared. The new one is one half, right, times y, times two y. Now I go ahead and, and, and multiply that. 2 times over 1 is just 2. It's just gone. So it becomes 1 and it becomes y squared. So I'm going from original with 1 half y squared and I'm going to y squared. Well, I probably did it in my head. How much of a change is that? Well, it's twice as much. But if I wanted to put that in the original formula, my new was y squared and my original was 1 half y squared and I put it like this. The y squareds can cancel. Now I have 1 over 1 half. Well, 1 over 1 half, if I multiply it by 2 over 1, 2 over 1, I get 2, which is a 2 to 1 ratio. But I think I could figure out that if it's going from 1 half to 1, it's twice as much. I could have probably stopped over here. So this is just a very simplistic lesson. It's a little bit more of just a, a reading and understanding than it is uh, a new formulas or anything like that. These are, these are very simple if you'll take the time to do these steps. Read the problem in its entirety before you start doing anything. Okay, that's step one. Step two, draw your diagrams. Okay, step three, write down the formulas you know. You know the area of a triangle is one half base times height? Then put one half base times height. I know it's, it's like so basic and why would you do this? Uh, but it helps when you start getting this all together. Then go, go back and read the problem and then ask yourself, what are they looking for in this problem? Well, like in both of these, they were asking me to do new to original. Okay? And so I wrote that as new perimeter to original perimeter. New triangles perimeter to original triangles perimeter. I wrote that down. It was not a necessity, but it helps me with understanding what they're looking for, and therefore I can easily solve these problems.